This is a review after three, four months of having the Lightning Strike kayak. Let's get into this video, guys. What's up, everybody? Just got done cleaning up my yak. Uh, had a bunch of oil on it and stuff. I used this uh, WD-40 right here. Took it off pretty quick. Doesn't leave as much residue as as the baby oil does. Came out pretty good. Um, so this is gonna be my four, fourth month with this kayak. Just kind of wanted to do a little review. Um, I seem to notice a lot that the the nose was taking a lot of punishment from loading and unloading and doing on the docks and stuff like that. So I just used a piece of conduit. I put the 3M uh, double tape underneath and cut me a piece of conduit and just molded it up, molded it up to the to the front. It seems to be working pretty good. Um, you can see it's taking a lot taking a lot of punishment down here at the docks like santa barbara harbor and stuff there's stuff that the cement is just like a cheese grater it just eats everything up um this stuff is that gorilla tape deal stuff and it's been on for about four or five trips now um so it holds up okay um but it doesn't i mean you could see like it Something will come and scrape it, or, you know, if something scrapes it, just tears it off. So, I'm probably going to be taking that off and try to do the whole thing with, like, this style. Um, As you can see, you know, there's a few small scratches. You can see scratches in there, little nicks. Um, WD-40 still on there. But yeah, I got this Gorilla Tape stuff, and you can see back here where this, the back end and the front of the nose really take a lot of the punishment. Um, you can see it right there, especially like unloading and loading on a truck. This stuff just gets hung up, and it just tears. Um, and then it sucks if you set it on something like, you can see this pool noodle where I set my kayak on the... On the saw horses, tore it off. So top side, we got the top side here. I just gave it a quick wipe down. Didn't really clean it all out all the way. Um, you can see some little scuff marks where I've bumped into things, or like when I went to Avila, we had to come in and launch from under the under the pier, and I end up getting stuck on some barnacles and stuff um so this is it this is uh i changed up my mounting i changed up my mounting i went with uh i went with the yak attack stuff and got the drive right there i switched over to the st fins from hobie and it's a very simple mod um, the only thing you got to do on this drive system is pull this pin on this side, that little keeper pin right there, pull that one out, pull the pin out itself from right here, pull it out. The whole fin will slide off and you just slide the new one on, just slide the new one on and then put the new pins, put everything back. Good to go. And this does add about a mile, mile and a half, uh, speed to your kayak to this kayak i don't know about any other ones to this one it does um what else one of the other things i didn't really like is the steering uh it's, it's pretty hard to steer but since i got those it's a little bit more easy like more speed you build up the easier it is to turn it um other than that i haven't had no issues with the drive no issues with the kayak kayak's been great other than when i'm taking a lot of water to up here I notice that if I go through big waves this handle the water comes up to this handle and comes inside and splashes in um, it does get a little bit inside and I'm gonna show you guys too I'll show you guys a clip you can see all the waves starting to come over the bow splash right over the top I mean it's fine water comes in and it'll drain out but if you splash a lot in there I noticed that the tray inside gets gets water, catches a lot of the water inside of it. 
Um, yeah, this was just a day out in Santa Barbara. Stayed out a little bit too long. The wind picked up. The waves picked up. And I was probably about a mile away from the harbor. Um, only thing you could do is just keep going. You can't give up. If you stop, you get blown back too far. So A lot of water up in here. But I think that's due because I'll have my drive sitting here. And I'll latch it on here. I'll latch, clip it on with my little, with my little clip, my rope. Um, I definitely don't want to lose that in the surf. So I clip it on here, and I think that it's different, balanced for the kayak. Um, and I think that's why a lot of water gets in the front up there. But as soon as I get out and I drop my drive in, it's fine. There's no problem. There's no problem. I haven't had no waters in there, so. The hatch, this hatch just barely recently started acting weird on me. You could see it's a little lifted up. You just heard it lock in. Um, so I don't know, maybe I have to clean the the ring around it or or whatever. You can see I still got a lot of a lot of uh oil or whatever you call it from the from the ocean. Anybody out here in California, they know what I'm talking about when you see that. When you see this stuff, it sucks. It's hard to clean. I don't like it. Um, yeah, I made these little deals here. One to hold my flagpole and one to hold the camera mount for when I'm doing the videos. But this, the, my, my pole is too high and it's very flimsy. So I decided not to, decided not to use that. But it's still there for something else. What else? What else? Um, oh, hold on a second now. So the seat, I noticed, this is the seat. Um, I also added a, you can get these thick, like, wheelchair cushions. And I use that. This, this thing really saves your butt out there. Really does. But anyways, um, so I noticed the other day when I was picking up my stuff to bring it inside, um, I noticed that this right here, got the seat torn. I don't know if that's from my fault. I don't know if I had the straps are too tight. Um... I don't know, but the seat's ripped. I just noticed I haven't even talked to customer service about that yet, but I'll message them and uh, see what they say. I'm sure they'll send me a new one out. It's just the skin, the chair itself. The seat itself is fine. The seat itself, the frame is fine. It's perfect. Um, I don't have no issues with that. Other than that, I think, I think everything's been pretty good. No issues at all other than the seat, uh, the drive being kind of slow, but once you add those fins, and I know you can add the other, uh, the other fins, but then you got to get into replacing this, uh, mass in here, that metal piece that's in there. I know you got to replace that. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to take it all apart. I mean, probably not a big deal, but. I was thinking just buy like another spare drive or something and just have two of them. Probably just have a backup or something. So yeah, that's that's that. Another thing I don't like is though the water comes up, splashes in, comes in, but it doesn't go inside. A little bit gets inside, but if you have the liner, it'll the liner will catch most of it. Um and then the yak attack I just want to connect this to show you guys. Um, there's the there's the Garmin right there. Uh, this is the this is all Yak Attack stuff, and their base the base for it fits right on, perfect. Um, everything's everything just sturdy, good, and I just like it because it's easy. If you want to move it, boom, pop it up, locked in, you know. 
And I got another rod holder over there too. Other than that, I think it's a great kayak for the money. I hope this uh, helps some people out. This is my lightning strike kayak.